Hello and welcome to another video in the watchOS app development series. In the last video, we created a basic UI setup for our watchOS application. And uh, in this video, we'll tweak some more UI and as well as set up our network call. Now we're going to create a UI element that represents an article. So press command N again and we'll create a new Swift UI view. I'll call this article row and create. So we'll be using the Kingfisher framework here. Let's import that at the top. And inside our structure, we'll just define a new variable, which is article. This tells Swift UI that this view requires an article object to work. Now, of course, this will trigger an error on the preview structure because we have not provided it with an article to work with. So we'll just provide it with an article object here. And we can implement the initializer function to make a new object. Let's just take values from this sample object. Take the title. So now we will take some elements from there to form our article row. So here we can just get rid of hello world and give the value as the title of our article and we'll put this inside of a horizontal stack. Now let's add some modifiers to this text so that it occupies as small as possible area so that we can fit more text into our article row view. So I'll just add a few modifiers here. So I'll set the font as a caption and the font weight as ultra light and let's add a line limit to this two numbers to two lines and now we're going to add a small thumbnail image to the left side of the row so we're going to add a kf image object which will take a url object in order to download the image We'll give it a custom width and height. And we'll preview this. So you may notice that the image isn't being shown on your preview. So don't worry about that. When we push the image to our watch, it will be visible. In the meantime, let's add a placeholder image so that at least we have some visual cue to indicate that the image is being loaded. Let's also add some style touches to make our news article look more appealing. So I'll just add the corner radius to this to make the edges a little more curved and a placeholder image. And let's also add scale to fill. This modifier takes our image and scales it enough to fit the frame below while keeping its aspect ratio the same. So our article row page is ready. Now let's work on some logic for fetching the actual articles. So I'll just create a new file here. It's a Swift file and I'll call this article fetcher. So 
So here we can import Swift UI, Alamo Fire, and Swift JSON. Let's create a public class with the same file name and let's make it an observable object so our article view can use it to fetch the articles from the news API. Now let's add two published variables. One will store the list of articles and the other one will tell us if there was any error while fetching the article. So now we're going to create a function that fetches the articles. So for this, we'll need our news API API key. If you haven't yet logged in and created your account at newsapi.org, now is the time to do so. And inside this class, you can copy, you can paste your API key. So here you shouldn't use my key, you should create your own key and use that. So below that, we're going to start our function. So let's create a function named fetch articles. And this will be followed by our API key. So inside this function, we'll create two switch cases, one for success and one for the case of failure. So now we have set up our both the cases. So now what we'll do is we'll take the array of articles contained in the JSON variable and we'll create an array that will hold the article type objects. We will iterate each So now inside our success block, we'll create a new variable called articles. And uh, this will be an array of articles that hold all of our articles data. So this variable will hold the JSON object, which contains all the articles and this array will hold article type objects. Now we'll just make a for loop to copy all the contents of the articles JSON to our article array object. So we have created an article item object of the article class and we'll just append this object to our article array.
and we'll set the value of our published variable articles to this value of our articles array. Uh, and as you can see, we have provided some fallback values in case that the article doesn't contain what we need at the end. So our network call will be complete here. Now let's go back onto some UI stuff. Let's go to, let's go to content view and we're going to add a button that takes us to articles view. So below the second text element, let's just add a spacer and a navigation link with articles view as its destination. Grabbing a text element that says start. So our final preview should look like this. So thank you guys for watching this video and in this video we have made our network call setup and uh, make sure you subscribe so that you can catch the part 3 of this video where we finish our fully functional watch OS.